Hello! In this video, we are going to be learning about how clouds are formed. This ties into our lesson on the water cycle, and we are going to be using some new words. I'd like you to go ahead and write this definition in your science notebooks. Evaporation is when a liquid changes into a gas. Now notice that in the word evaporation, there is this other word, vapor. So we'll come back to that a little bit later, but look for the word vapor in the uh, presentation. I've always loved looking at clouds, and one thing I like to do is to find shapes in the clouds. Look at this one, for example. What do you think it looks like? Or what about this one? But what are clouds? I've always imagined myself sitting on a cloud, but do you think that you could actually sit on a cloud? I think we'll discuss that a little bit later at the end of the uh, presentation. Clouds are made of water, but how does the water get into the cloud? Is it from the rain? Well, the answer is yes, but it does have to go through a process. We know that water collects on the earth from the rain. It mostly collects in the ocean. We've learned that 97% of the Earth's water is in the ocean. The rest of the water is in lakes, ponds, streams, rivers, and it also exists in the snowpack, like up in the mountains, and in glaciers. Now remember from our previous discussions that water can be in two forms, liquid, or solid. Water is affected by the conditions on the Earth. One of those conditions is the Earth's temperature. When water warms, it converts to a vapor. Vapor is just another word for gas. So evaporation is the process of water converting from a liquid to a gas. Now the sun is one of the most important parts of the water cycle. It heats up the water that's in the um, oceans and the glaciers and the rivers and eventually it evaporates and it rises up into the atmosphere. Water is also evaporated through plants and soil. That's another process that we're going to discuss a little bit later. But evaporated water is in the form of water vapor. Now you can see some evidence of this in steam, um, but when it occurs slowly, like it does over a lake or over a river, you can't see it with your naked eye. Now not all of the water that evaporates becomes clouds. So that's something that's important to remember. Most of what clouds are made up of is water, but there are also tiny particles of dust and pollen and other things that the water can bond to. Now bond just means that the water is attaching to another particle, like a particle of dust. And then the water vapor comes in contact with the air currents and it takes it higher up into the atmosphere. And when it reaches the cooler temperatures, the water condenses. Now condenses just means compacts. The water vapor condenses and it forms clouds. Next, we're gonna do a short experiment that shows you what evaporation looks like. So for this experiment, you're going, if you're going to do this experiment at home, first of all, you're going to need a parent. Um, you will be using the stove. You're going to need a half a cup of water, 
some food coloring, a paper coffee filter, a mesh metal strainer, and a pan, and of course the stove. You're going to put some drops of food coloring in that half a cup of water, and you're going to be putting it into the pan. So let's look at the video. Hi kids, we've talked about the three states of matter, liquid, solid, and gas. Gas is formed through a process called evaporation. In nature, the sun provides the heat that causes water to evaporate. Today, we're going to do an experiment that mimics that process. Here are my ingredients. We've got a half a cup of water with six drops of food coloring. We've got some coffee filters, a pan, and a basket to put our um, coffee filters into. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour our water and food coloring into the pan, set our coffee filters into the basket, and we're going to turn up the heat. In a few minutes when we come back, we will look for evidence of evaporation. Welcome back. In the time that you've been away, the water has heated up. Let's go ahead and look at the pan and see if there's any evidence of evaporation. This is an image of what the water cycle looks like. On one side, you can see that it's raining. The water comes down, it gathers in streams and lakes, and eventually, as we discussed, it evaporates. Some of the evaporated water gets to be part of the clouds. These clouds move and they grow in size and they collect more water vapor along their way. And when they become too heavy to hold any more water, it falls in the form of rain. And when it's cold enough, it turns into either snow or sleet. I'd like you to go ahead and get out your science notebooks, and we're going to be writing about this process. What role does evaporation play in the water cycle? What evidence did you see of evaporation in the video? And do you think you could sit on a cloud? Why or why not? Let's also include a drawing about the water cycle. 